thank you for joining me today today I want to show you something different from painting today I want to show you how I use my leftover paint so I use my leftover paint to make paint skins so what I do is I pick a combination of color use a plastic bag slightly thicker one or sometimes you can use a silicone mat and just pour the paints on the plastic bag or the silicone mat and then just blow it over a little bit let it cure for two to three days and then you can just peel the paint off of the plastic bag or the silicone mat and this is what you can get So I use these paint skins to make jewelry and magnets. So in addition to this paint skins, you need a few other items. So I'll show you each one of them. You'll need some kind of adhesive. I use the diamond glaze. And then you need glass carbochons. And then you need pendant bezels to go with it you, you can also use the skins to make earrings for which you will need earring bezels so these are small trays and those come with their own small carbochons to make magnets, you can order these different sizes of magnets on Amazon and then you can use the same carbochons and then just stick it to the magnet. The one, the magnet that I ordered also comes with self adhesive strips that I can use. And then to complete this, you can also order these necklace from Amazon. What else? So these bezels and carbochons come in different shapes. I have the rectangle ones. They come with their own rectangular carbochons. I guess that's, that's what you need to make your own jewelry. So now I'll go ahead and show you how I make my pendants. So how I make my pendants is I pick the carbochon lay it on the paint skin and then move it around to see what I like. So when I find a place that I like, I apply a little bit of this diamond glaze glue, just a drop. Lay it over the paint skin and then give it a little pressure and it sticks very, very quickly. There you go. That's it. So I let it sit for a few minutes and then I use a scissors and then just cut, um, cut off this part off of the skin. So I'll use some of the carbochons that I already have cut off from the paint skin. So once you have neatly cut that out, all you have to do is again, a drop of glue onto the bezel. And then just drop the carbochon into it and just apply a little bit of the pressure just so you can spread the glue underneath and there we go a pendant is ready and now a necklace is ready
Let's do the same thing with the blue one. There's the cobble charm. A drop of glue. There we go. That's it. You can do the same thing with the small carbochons and use it to make earrings. So these are the carbochons. Have another carbochon ready here. Paint skin glued to it and then neatly trimmed off. Gonna pick a magnet. So these magnets that I ordered came with their own um, adhesive. So all I do is peel it out. Try and get it in the center as much as possible. And then just stick the carbochon onto it. So once I stick it in, I can't move it around. So I have to make sure I'm placing it right in the center. There you go. You can also use the diamond glaze if you don't have the adhesive or if you don't want to use the adhesive. You can use the glue uh, instead of the uh, adhesive that it comes with. So there we go. So I'll show you some of the um, earrings that I've made. This one's the green one. Then I have another set for the blue. I've made some magnets as well. There we go. That's how I use my leftover paints. And I hope you enjoyed this video and you have learned something. If you did like what I showed you today, please hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. That's it for today. I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.